Hello everyone. So today we got new Iron Fist leaks and a mini update alongside it. I am gonna make this video pretty quick since a lot of people were expecting the Iron Fist style to drop today. Which have left a lot of people disappointed. Let's first start with the new mini update we got, on this mini update we got a few changes regarding random spins. You know. Those spins you get after a match. When this update dropped, the spins are now consistent. You get it on every match now. It doesn't matter if you 3 0 the guy or they 3 0 you, both of you will get the spins. This made grinding for lucky crates, lucky spins and style slots much much easier. But in return of this, they nerf the rewards you can get, especially gold. Before uncommon drops which involved gold was around 2000 but now it's only around 150. This doesn't matter though since it made grinding way less of an issue. On top of this, they also increased the price of the stuff you buy from the store. Which made it so that you can't easily pay for stuff and use it for trading anymore. Because they are much more expensive. If you're disappointed, don't worry the dev is gonna drop some balance changes during the week so keep an eye out for that. Anyways, let's move on to the Iron Fist leaks. Before I start talking about it, here is the leak shown. Pretty cool right? Let's start breaking down the leak shown. First, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Those M2s. Those M2s actually leave a mark on your opponent which is obviously a reference to his fight with Anderson. I can imagine that if they hit so hard to the point that it leaves a mark. It's definitely gonna hurt a crap ton. I'm predicting that it's gonna hurt as much as a fully charged slugger M2, and if that's not the case, it's probably gonna have some broken ribs debuff he can give the opponent or something. As for his M1 shown, it's awfully familiar to Epo's M1s. So I'm guessing stats wise, it's probably gonna be identical to Epo. But who knows. Since it's not out yet. And that's about everything about the new update as well as the leaks shown. Are you guys excited for Komogawa? And what do you think of the mini update we got? Feel free to leave your thoughts on the comment section below. Anyways that's all from me, see you guys on the next one. Peace.